setting up base camp in the Philippines is something I recommend doing um, because many people retire and just go there but you then commit to things which if you spend a bit more time setting things up would make your life a lot easier for example you may find that you live in Cebu but then decide oh Domaguete is a much better place or I want to go on the whole or you know you, you decide that you want to change where you want to live but if you do a bit of trips out there you know like say you have like trips over the next two three years to different areas just so you can get a feel for the different places um, that's a major thing that can help with getting the right spot but also myself and I, I know there's other people have the same thing you hit a tax threshold where you might as well not be earning money um, where if you can find the right partner etc you can actually filter money to them to do small enterprises they're not going to be big money obviously but the, the whole point is it's completely off the tax radar there's nothing to do with you it, you know you've set your partner up or whatever um, this could over two five years whatever could pay for a house and a lot you know there is a lot of opportunities out there and some of it is direct and some is indirect for example if you had a partner that does uh, selling handbags you know something s simple like that that's that's direct indirect is something like doing you do blogging YouTube videos and stuff and just send all the money to the Philippines because you can control the AdSense account so even if you fell out with that partner you can just change the account on the on the AdSense um, it's not a biggie and that's these are direct and indirect incomes but if you're employed and already paying tax you have to pay tax on these incomes but if it was going to the Philippines and going to your partner it's very likely they don't um, it's just something to be aware of but these little things add up over a period of time because getting an online presence doesn't happen overnight um, it could take you a good year, two years before people even start to engage with you properly um, because they're still waiting to see what you're doing but also it doesn't have to be about the Philippines there's, a, there's so many things out there that you can do and there's so many things that different people have got experience and knowledge about um, my biggest online income has nothing to do with the Philippines whatsoever um, it's it's completely um, completely uh, out of what people would normally expect although it is en engineering orientated but the whole point is there's a niche market for that and that's the other thing you find these little niches but you could find that you buy your house and lot if you wanted to buy a house and lot it's already paid for out this money you could find that you're earning more money doing this sort of thing than you would with your pension um, but more importantly you can set these all up in advance you could sit there and go right what we're going to do what does your partner know what does she think but it also keeps her busy because a lot of expats keep their partners sitting in an apartment or something um, and just fund them to stay there while they're offshore a uh, bit of advice idle hands are normally not the best hands to have because they start to stray, they start to get involved in things they shouldn't do. But if they kept busy with something active and uh, positive, then most people are quite content and happy because you've helped them out and you're helping yourself out. You're setting things up for your retirement. Same as sending things ahead, things that you need, things that you want with the ballot buying boxes. Every time I'm in Europe, I send ballot buying boxes back to the Philippines. They take about two months to get there from here, but I'm not really fussed. The stuff I'm sending is like stuff for a year supply. Um, some of it's things like razors, you know, because you, you get the a lot of the stuff in the Philippines is not good quality um, or fake. So little things like that make a big difference to quality of life in the Philippines. I mean, you're trying to shave and it goes it's a brand new razor, but they're not actually. Uh, it's the way they manufacture them. Uh, the fake ones, they're pressed and they're not, they're not as sharp. 
they just they look the same in the packet, but as soon as you cut it, it's just so it's little things like that you send in advance. You, you build up your little supplies of things. Um, we send a lot of things like the curry powders and things, but they different flavors and different herbs so that we've got everything. I mean, I, I have a big red um, storage bin just full of different herbs and things for cooking because a lot of them aren't available in the Philippines. The ones that are available, we get in the Philippines. Which is another point, find out what isn't available. Because then you can go, okay, I know I can get that, I, and I can't get that, but oh, that, that's expensive in the Philippines, I'll send some of those. You know, you sit there and work it out. Now, I would also say that you could actually make a little bit of money on the ballot buying boxes to cover your costs. Because a lot of stuff is very expensive. Um, when you compare the prices. I know some of the stuff I was getting from Asda before, I was getting like a three for two or whatever, and then I was finding like the cost of one was more, the cost of one in the Philippines covered the cost of three, which means you, you, you're trebling your money on them if you wanted to sell them. Um, there is ways to make money. There is stuff there that you could sit and do that doesn't really t put you out, doesn't really take your time but makes life more comfortable in the Philippines. You also find that you can make small businesses that, with your partner that can make life more comfortable in the Philippines. You can have your apartment fully furnished and everything before you move to the Philippines. This is why setting up a little nest, a base camp in the Philippines is worthwhile. Um, once you find your area and you're 100% that this is your partner and the one you want to be with, it's worth doing. If you can get these little bits of income coming in, coming in every week, every month, um, you, you end up with your entire pension near enough in your pocket because everything else is already covered out of these little ventures. Thanks for watching.